Good afternoon, Tabernacle family. Today is Monday, uh, June the 26th, and we're looking forward to a great week in our Pastor's Minute this week. It uh, comes from a thought yesterday in our Sunday school class. We talked about the Apostle Paul and how he stood up for the Lord, how he witnessed for Christ, how in spite of fear or in spite of intimidation, uh, the, the Lord used him and used his testimony in a powerful way. And yesterday I referenced some scriptures, five different scriptures that I referenced that really give us the mind of Christ or uh, how we should handle fear in our own life. And really, I'm just going to read these five scriptures. I hope one of them will help you. If you want to write one of them down this week, maybe put it on a card and it'll be a blessing to you. The first scripture I'll read is Psalm 27 and verse 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 34 and verse 4, the Bible says, I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Uh, Psalm 46, 1 and 2, the Bible says, God is a refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed, though the mountains be carried in the midst of the sea. Psalm 56, 3 and 4, the Bible says this, What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. In God I will praise his word. In God I have put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. In the last verse, very familiar, 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And, you know, sometimes as we share our faith, we can be fearful, but uh, we must be reminded that, that the Lord is with us, that we work in his strength. It's not what we can do of our own ability or really our inability. It's what we can do through him. And I hope these verses this week uh, will encourage your heart, will remind you that the Lord is with you, that will enable us to have confidence that we can be a bold gospel witness for him this week. I hope you have a wonderful week. Looking forward to a great week ahead.